Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install an accelerator or GPU graphics processing unit on the HPE Synergy. So here is the HPE Synergy frame, how it is looks like. But before jumping to this concept, I will explain you the first HPE Synergy concepts. So here is the agenda, HPE Synergy frame overview and HPE Synergy 12,000 frame key components and HPE Synergy graphics expansion module and how to install an accelerator or GPU on the HPE Synergy. And finally, we can conclude with what is the main use case scenario and why do we need to install GPU on the HPE Synergy? Okay, so let's start with the first point. HP Synergy Frame Overview. The Synergy is the first platform architectured for composability. Composability means, let's say, if you plan for a, any of the solution, like a private cloud solution or on-premises solution or any of the data center scenarios, we need a server. That server can be a rack mount server, blade server or a tower server. But if you plan going for a blade server, we should also look for a better blade server. So Synergy is one of the better blade server. It's not only included with the blade, we can also include with your storage nodes. So that's why we call it as a, this is one of the composable infrastructure device. And it's not only the compute node, storage node, even the additional peripherals also, we can insert it in this composable device. Like how the music director composed the music Music using the multiple instrument. Same way, we have a multiple compute node and also the storage modules we can insert and make this as a composable infrastructure device. So that point only, it provides a composable frame, fabric, storage, and computing. And this is the one synergy frame. It is a 10U size. That means within the rack, it's a 10 units of size. And if you see in the diagram, right side diagram, we have a 140 unit rack and within this rack, we have a four synergy frames. Let's start from bottom to top. If you see the bottom synergy frame, all are the compute mod no modules only. There is no storage module. That means they composed as a only the compute module. They, they didn't use the storage module. Suppose the second synergy frame, they used wrapper of eight compute modules and the remaining space they used as a two storage modules. And the third synergy frame also, they have a mixed of compute module and also the storage module. And in the top frame, fourth synergy frame, we have, if you see half size compute modules and also one large size compute module also available. So that's how we can compose our devices within the one synergy frame. Okay, so depends on our workload requirement. If your workload require a more storage, we'll go for a with the storage module, we can insert the synergy frame. If you mainly for your application workloads, you can go for a all or a normal compute nodes. It's a completely depends on our use case requirements. Okay, and let me elaborate these components again. So HP is Synergy 12,000 frame key component. If you see in the front view of the Synergy frame, the components are like the first one is frame size to fit in the existing infrastructure. As I mentioned, it's a 10 unit rack space. Okay, and the second one, double wide storage node. So this box is referred as a storage module. If you open this node, storage node, we can insert so many flash drives inside this storage node okay and half height compute node is the third item if you see the all the three is refers as a half size compute nodes that means one node refers as a one server we can install the direct esx for one node dedicated for one hypervisor like vmware esxi and there are some scenarios we can use full height compute node also that is fourth one if you see this is a full height compute node okay and the fifth one is redundant management appliance module. We have a redundant management appliance module. This will help you to control this compute and storage nodes. Okay. And the sixth point is front panel of the Synergy console. Okay. 
So the, here is the high level components of HPE Synergy 12,000 frame. But the scenario is when we plan to install a GPU processor in this diagram, all are refers as a compute node and storage node. But when we plan to insert a GPU module, we need a one additional component. That concept is HPE Synergy graphics expansion module. So if you see in this diagram, same like a compute module size, we have a another module we need to insert within the synergy frame that name is graphics expansion module suppose if i open this graphic expansion module inside is looks like this we can insert multiple graphics that is like a pci peripheral component interconnect graphics two or four expansion module we can insert here this is one gpu another gpu like that we can insert either a two size or four we can insert within this graphics max expansion module one example of gpu process model is nvidia a40 okay not only a40 we have other models also a140 gb a180 gb okay and if you want to see in the synergy frame see in the, within the synergy frame we have a compute module storage model but when we plan for graphics expansion module we have to remove one compute module and we need to place the graphic expansion module here so this is the graphic expansion module so this expansion module only will help to place all our gpu process like uh, graphics processing units are we can place minimally two or maximum four we can insert within this expansion module okay so this is only the key point here now how to install an gpu or accelerator on the hpe synergy so the first point is we have to review the hpe synergy frame within the synergy frame let's say i highlighted here this is the graphic expansion module but some scenarios if your synergy frame loaded with all compute nodes we have to free up one module to place the graphic expansion module suppose if you have any free slots it's fine we need to procure the graphic expansion module and insert here okay that is the scenario so i mentioned as require graphics expansion module to install the gpu and install the gpu into the pci graphics expansion module so installation is pretty simple you can just pull out the graphic expansion module and insert the gpu into the pci pca slot okay and insert the expansion module into the synergy frame when once we take out again reinsert to the synergy frame and review all the cable connections on the synergy in the rear view back view we can verify all the connections are connected once it is connected you can power on the synergy compute node so that this compute node will start identifying the newly added gpu cards okay verify the gpu card from the hp one view one view is normal if you want to manage centrally using this synergy frame we can use centralized tool name is hpe one view and the specific compute module we can access using ilo integrated light sort from the ilo we can verify the how many gpus are connected on this synergy frame okay so this is the complete view and now you may have a question why do you need to install the gpu on the hp synergy so there are plenty of use cases one main common use case is if you plan to deploy vmware plus nvidia a ready platform in our environment either it is a multi-cloud infrastructure hybrid cloud infrastructure or private cloud infrastructure within our infrastructure layer the most recommended component is nvidia gpu this is mainly for application acceleration and even for network and infrastructure acceleration we may need to use dpu data processing unit smartnic but today concept i talk about the nvidia gpu so the benefit is we can use vsphere with the tanju not only a normal containers and virtual machine we can also use the specific virtual machines with virtual gpu and the containers also utilize the gpu operators and it will help you to run some of the artificial intelligence and machine learning application for our customer business requirements okay this is the high level overview and another use case sir we can also use this gpus for mainly for digital avatars video analytics medical imaging and genome sequencing robotic applications and all and these applications and all we can run use it in a multiple industries like data science aviation and also medical 
graphical imaging mobile applications but only the common thing is whatever the infrastructure server you use either it is a rack mount server or a blade server or hpe synergy composable infrastructure servers the key component is this is the uh, gpu processor the cold gold color one the gpu is the must to run all this application and also to use this gpu for wide range of industries okay so hope you understand the main key point how to install the main key point is for our existing synergy frame we need a graphic expansion module it's not like a rack mount server directly take the gpu insert in the pca slot but this synergy frame only thing is we need a additional module okay so that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now